Hi and welcome to Marseille in beautiful France and today I'm going to take you on a tour to this historical maritime city in the south of France and we're going to start our tour at the Palais d'Enchamp not far from the train station of Marseille and likely a good starting point for you when you start your excursion in this really interesting city. Let's check it out. Quite a happening place. I want to sit down in one of the cafes and bistros. And uh, you can take uh, a carousel ride or get your hair done with extensions. It's certainly one of the big highlights when you come to this beautiful city. Very neat idea. So I'm now here at Panier. I think this is worth checking out. One of the oldest quarters of Marseille. You'll find quite a bit of cool graffiti. such a cool place. This is a must see. Check this out. What a cool structure. It's the largest teddy bear in the world and I'm loving this architecture too. The Musem is such a cool building. Look at the views from up here. And we're going to check that out now. The Palais Longchamp is an 18th century Palace that is the entry point to a beautiful garden that's behind and it also houses two museums the Museum of Natural History and the Musée des Beaux-Arts and it's a great starting point for a tour it's about a 30 minute walk down to the harbor so uh, let's get our walking shoes on and check out Marseille From here you have a great view all over Marseille and you can even see the cathedral and the hill on top of which stands the Basilica of Marseille. And I just love the waterfalls here, really beautiful scenery. Entrance to the spring fountains and the Palais is entirely free. So definitely check it out when you're here in Marseille. Really beautiful. From the Palais de Longchamp, we're going to take the Boulevard Longchamp in the direction of the harbor area and the city center. Let's have a look. I put together a map for this video of my walk through Marseille. So that gives you a sense of where I'm going. My next stop is the Saint Vincent de Paul church and uh, make sure you don't miss the statue of Jeanne d'Arc which is in front of this church. She's of course uh, a revered national hero here in France. 
and you see many statues of Jeanne d'Arc all over the country. Alright, I now made my way to the next highlight of our tour here in Marseille and that is the Saint Vincent de Paul church, uh, 19th century Catholic church which is uh, held in the Gothic style and really quite beautiful with the architecture held all in white and if you go inside you'll see the beautiful stained glass windows and the very very high ceilings. Let's check it out. From here we're going to take uh, La Gambetta, which is a major through street here. The Gambetta is a beautiful tree-lined street and pedestrianized zone. And here you'll find all kinds of shops and stores, cinemas, bouquinists, bookstores, boulangerie, and mixed-use stores. It's a really beautiful street and it's quite a happening place. Why not sit down in one of the cafes and bistros that you find on both sides of the street? And I'm not sure why there's giraffes here, but maybe it's a reference to the ties that Marseille has historically to Africa and trading with Africa. I'm now at the Place General de Gaulle, which is one of the central squares in Marseille, and it's located right in front of the old uh, building of the Bourse de Marseille, Chambre de Commerce. So that's the stock exchange here of the city. Pretty impressive neoclassicistic building. And from here you can already tell that we're very close to the harbor area and that's of course our next stop. Another way to explore Marseille is with the little touristic train. I'm not gonna do that but uh, there's quite a line in front of that train so it seems to be something that is really appreciated by the visitors here. And uh, you can take a, a carousel ride or get your hair done with extensions all in one. Pretty convenient. And 
now made my way to the harbor of Marseille which is certainly one of the big highlights when you come to this beautiful city the Vieux-Port this harbor is super old and dates back to Phoenician and Roman times it's not very large and of course the, the main new harbors are located around the old town to both sides of the city but this harbor is just really beautiful it's lined by nice buildings on both sides and behind me you see L'Ombrier which is a big mirrored umbrella type of construction that is meant to provide a bit of shade because there's no other shades there's no trees here in the harbor area this is actually a very good idea and it's much cooler when you go underneath this structure this has been designed and built by Sir Norman Foster and it's a pretty cool thing and you can go up and you can actually see yourself in the mirrors very neat idea and definitely very functional and useful since it's another very hot day here in southern France Let me tell you a little bit more about the Vieux Port of Marseille, the old harbor. This place has been a trading spot for 2600 years. And while it doesn't look that large compared to modern harbors, the harbor area is actually a whole district in itself here in Marseille. And what's really cool about this place is that there's lots of restaurants and cafes ice cream parlors and of course you can take boat tours from here some take you to the Chateau d'If and to the Calanque which is a national park and there's lots of little stores that sell of course soap as well as uh, jewelry t-shirts and all kinds of other tourist goods and here in Marseille you can also rent a bike and uh, that service is called Le Vélo and here we're now at the docks where all the sailboats and speedboats are anchored. Obviously, this used to be a major commercial hub in all of southern France and all the big boats and ships have long moved now to the other docks to the north of Marseille so this is mainly for pleasure now but uh, you'll still find sailing boats and uh, fishermen coming in the morning and selling their fresh fish here at the markets so you can tell there's a number of tour boats leaving from this place here from the harbor area so I want to get your attention to this church up here which is a neo byzantine church from the 19th century Basilica of Marseille and it's crowned by a Virgin Mary a gold statue on the very top and it's quite a walk up there I'm not going to do that today it's just way too hot but obviously if you make it up there you're going to have a beautiful view over all of Marseille and the coastline around this super interesting city there's an interesting building the Tel de Ville which is now a five-star hotel but it used to be a court building and it even had a prison downstairs so I guess those are now hotel rooms where they used to have prisoners so from the harbor area I'm going to turn right and we're gonna head into Le Panier which is really old quarter one of the first quarters and settlements here in Marseille let's check it out I'm sure that's gonna be a really cool modern square once those olive trees have grown 
in those giant pots. So this building you find the city administration of Marseille. And this gigantic palace is a five-star hotel in the continental of Marseille. It looks really beautiful. So I'm now here at the panier, the basket in English, which is one of the oldest quarters of Marseille, dates back all the way to 600 BC and has been historically the arrival point for many immigrants who made their way to the city. And even today it uh, features quite a large population of Corsican and Maghreb immigrants who settled here. Historically, it has been one of the poorest parts of the city and the Charité building from the 17th century still is a testimony to the poverty of this particular part of town. You'll find quite a bit of cool graffiti when you're here in these quaint alleyways. While its past may have been ridden by poverty, the panier has turned into a pretty hip quarter with lots of artists having settled down here and you'll find plenty of small boutiques and restaurants and cafes, bistros and 
lots of street art. If you are a fan of graffiti and street art, this is a must see. Check this out. The old hospice and charity house, La Musée de la Charité, has now been turned into a museum. You'll find the Museum of Arcology and various art museums in this really beautiful old building. really interesting this is a public library but it's called l'association des bons fêteurs meaning that's a association of the good party people and they have a brass hanging outside <laughs> very interesting has become my favorite part of Marseille. Such a cool place, really happening, and lots of beautiful street art, nice cafes. And wherever you go, there's always a small little something on the walls. Definitely check it out when you're here. Obviously also a great place to take pictures. And you got a depiction of King Kong on top of the basilica. Okay, this was the panier. We're gonna head to our next destination, which is the more modern port of Marseille, the harbor. And in front of the harbor, you have a really beautiful Cathedral, check this out. This building is a Neo Byzantine cathedral, La Cathedrale de Mayor, and it dates back to the 18th century. And it looks really nice from the outside with the striped pattern facade, but we're also going to check out the interior. Let's have a look.
So this cathedral is super impressive. Might be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, in Marseille. And uh, the interior is really nice too. If you go inside, make sure you also check out the mosaic floor, which I thought was really beautiful. And there's a depiction of uh, Jesus' birth in Jerusalem in the very back as a three-dimensional model. So even if you're not Catholic, I think this is worth checking out. It's just a beautiful building. All right, and just next to the cathedral, you see the modern ferry port, busy port where the ferries take off. This one's going to go to Corsica. And here you see the entrance of the old port. And uh, in front of that, that super modern museum is the Museum. And we're going to check that out now. Alright, I had to stop here at this giant teddy bear which apparently is the largest teddy bear in the world weighs six tons and is more than five meters high and what's particularly about this teddy bear it has two faces one on each side obviously that is uh, Jana's face and so very fitting for my channel never seen anything like it check it out in Marseille okay now we're heading to the museum the museum is such a cool building it's a real eye catcher in Marseille absolutely not to be missed and it's completely redefined the waterfront of Marseille look at that amazing structure that seems to be free floating on top of uh, the entrance area here and at the same time providing some nice shade and this is uh, called uh, Kosker Mediterrane Grottkosker.com you have to check that out and here we are at the Museum and I'm loving this architecture too, so cool. The Museum was inaugurated in 2013 and obviously this architecture is breathtaking. It's a gigantic steel and glass structure but with really interesting patterns surrounding it as the frame of the building so definitely worth a visit the exhibitions inside seem to be quite eclectic it's a bit of a wild mix of different sujets but uh, if you have some time why not give it a try and from the museum you get to see the entrance area of the old harbor this is where all the big ships and sailboats came in for centuries and millennia. This is where naval history has been written for many, many years. Check this out.
So if you come here, you definitely have to check out the museum. What a cool structure. I love the architecture. Really, really amazing. And this structure here is actually really nicely protecting against the sun. It looks like a random pattern and it allows you to really see outside, but it's amazingly cool and fresh on this walkway while we're still outside of the building. Very, very neat. Okay, I'm now here at the terrace of the museum. And again, super nice views from up here. And there is this funky bridge that uh, allows you to connect to the rest of the museum. Very nice, look at the views from up here. Okay, so this was a really cool experience. Totally love this. What an amazing building. to love the architecture here. What an amazing combination of old and new where the museum structures have been incorporated into the old port fortress walls and uh, there's a combination of the old bricks and the steel structure and glass structures. Very neat. From all of these structures you have fantastic views of the harbour area. Alright, with this beautiful view, I'm going to call it a day. I hope you enjoyed this video tour of Marseille. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And please also check out my other videos on beautiful France. There's so much to see in this amazing country. Uh, and uh, if you haven't done so yet, please also subscribe to my channel. And I hope I see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.